All right, so senior year is canceled and everybody's studying online and it really sucks. Dude, allow us seniors to show you how to properly study online. Speak, speaking of being online, David's in a video call, which is why his audio sucks. <laughs> So you get into a video call with someone at 8 p.m. using Google Hangouts because you're that cool. And you're like, okay man, are you ready to study for this test? We are gonna get an A+. What test? All right, so you get back to studying, you're hardcore into it, you're really figuring things out, but the reality is you're not. However, all of a sudden, you hear music and you realize someone else is about to join the call. What's up? What's gaming gamers? Do you mind if I join your study group? <laughs> <laughs> David, you need to say you're live! No, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay, David? Are you, are you good? <laughs> I'm okay. Alright, so luckily you get back to studying, and Tad knows everything. He knows everything that is needed to know about physics and... Um, F equals M-A. Got him. All of a sudden, somebody writes something in purple, and you're like, Wait. dude. Barney is purple. Barney's purple. Oh my gosh, the pen is purple. Oh my goodness, this is dinosaurs. Is this like the current... Oh my gosh, he eats kids! I, I think he said the F word, but here's the clip. Look at Roll the clip right now. Oh, well, hi there. I've been looking at some of my old home movies. Oh, they bring back such great memories. Roll the clip. <laughs> well, no, there's this Wikipedia page. Oh, roll the clip. Call parts. Anti Barney humor. Dude, no, you click on it, and you're just welcomed with this picture that, no joke, looks like Five Nights at Freddy's Barney. It was like, for comparison, other popular children's uh, characters such as Dora the Explorer, Bert and Bernie, Emmo, Caillou, Peppa Pig, and the Teletubbies have been subject to subversive adult humor. In Barney's case, however, the humor was typically been far more dark and a more uh, vicious and hostile nature towards Barney. Barney's also been in a bunch of these court cases and... I just kind of want to draw your attention, uh, where is it over here? To Barney vs. the San Diego Chicken Case. <laughs> what? On October 8th, 1997, he was filed a lawsuit. Uh, he jiggles his lumpish body like an overripe eggplant. So now that we've shifted our attention to Barney, I think we should look into some conspiracies. So, number one is, um, did Barney have cocaine hidden in his tail? And cuss out a child, and the the general consensus on this one is is false. Yeah, they, they think police uncovered a cache of illegal drugs secreted in the Rotown dinosaur's <laughs> tail. <laughs> you finally get back to physics homework, and then I'm still intrigued. In every study session, you always hit the point where you realize uh, there is no hope. There is nothing to gain from studying so late. Then all your deepest, darkest fears come to fruition, and you realize that there is no hope in the world. So you kind of just come to the truth of how terrible everything is. All right, then you reach the point where suddenly you're just like, dude, it's one o'clock. I have to go to bed. I'll just get up really early in the morning and keep studying, and hopefully all will go well. I can't do this. I can't do this, David. Do you understand? Q is equal to VC. I don't get any of it. I don't know, David. I'm done. I don't, I don't know. My note card isn't done yet. Okay. You lay in your bed. You <laughs> question. Your life question choices. reality. Then you slip into nothingness and awake to the alarm noise. <laughs> and it's over. You walk into that math classroom. You sit down. 
You don't know anything. <laughs>